white down bucks. Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Don Bucks, man. Another episode of Rapping Dough, episode 28. And uh, from the words of your girl Cardi, uh, what she said, coronavirus, coronavirus. Yeah, <laughs> I know y'all seen that video. Oh, man, she off the hook. Like, but um, this is the home of finance and business conversations from a black perspective, as y'all know. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. Um, but man, let's get into it. We living in some mean times right now. Um, this coronavirus shit, man. Woo. I mean, got the world in a tizzy. You feel me? It's like, uh, my thing is this. Um, as far as the coronavirus, like, if you do some research, um, it shows basically based off of what uh, CNN.com says um, out of a thousand people one or two can die like out of a thousand people that's affected one or two people can die so basically um, the mortality rate the death rate with coronavirus is about 0.66% which is lower than uh, the mortality rate of some, of people getting the flu. The flu is 0.1%. So my thing is this, if more people die from the flu, now don't get me wrong, I'm not downplaying the virus, what it's doing to the world and all that, because there's some crazy uh, stuff going on right now, but I'm willing to argue um, the reasoning behind all the uh, the hoopla and all the, the, the hysteria going on behind it because if more people die from the flu than the coronavirus why they not uh, putting the people that die from the flu on the news every day like you don't hear people coming on the news talking about or, or posting on their social like hey I got the flu like why don't nobody talk about the flu like they talk about the coronavirus when more people die from the flu than the coronavirus and those people that died is uh, stats show that they're over 50 and 60 years old. So if you're not 50 and 60 years old, um, and that mortality rate is only about eight percent, seven, eight percent. So it's like out of a thousand people, seven people would die if they was if they was all over 50 and 60 years old. If there was a thousand of them, only. Six, only about seven or eight of them would die out of a thousand people. I mean, you know, you don't want to downplay death, but it's like they put they putting a lot of emphasis on this coronavirus for some for some reason. Like Donald Trump ain't making it no better, but um, there's a lot of economic uh, concerns going on because of all this all the hysteria, all the news coverage that is getting, um, you know stuff closed down people losing they uh, getting laid off now I was reading it's interesting how they put a funny like a different spin on layoffs they calling it furloughs now so if you see a company done furloughed X amount of uh, employees that mean that they got laid off and that's a <laughs> it's funny how they put a spin on words like um, you know, I do a lot of research, a lot of reading and all that shit. I know that's probably not popular and um, I know it's not popular because they do write-ups on how people that are uninformed, people that don't read, people don't, that don't do any independent thinking because this, this platform is for people that like to think independently, who like to uh, um, not conform to the norm, the uh, the, the popular opinion and all that so this is for those people that, that, that think independently so they did a, a research study on how easily manipulated uninformed people are so they can use outlets media outlets and, and social media uh, it used to be called propaganda like back in the uh, Vietnam days and uh, um, in the Hitler days, they used propaganda to, to sway the thinking of the public. So, 
now they call it they put another spin on that they call it uh, uh, spin they call it misinformation but they what they were saying basically in essence that uninformed people are more easily um, manipulated because they don't do any independent thinking they just gonna listen to what we say so we can put out whatever agenda we want to put out and they just going to fall in line and listen to it excuse me so um, you know a lot of stuff is going on right now like I said as far as jobs I'm gonna get into that too because I wrote down some notes on um, different companies that are furloughing the employees like so that's basically laid off without pay that's what a furlough means so um, you know the, the, the uncertainty in the market um, you know why people want to practice social uh, distancing is because you know it's a lot of uh, uncertainty because of all the information that's flying around no one's sure of what's the truth and you know what's what's a lie because our president he don't really give us give us proper information he stay lying like um one example is that actually recently he said that you know being that it was it's a shortage of supplies in, in a lot of hospitals so he was talking mainly about new york and how new york got a, a shortage of supplies and masks how about this clown gonna say he thinks that the healthcare workers now they may or they may not be but he's saying um, he's not really sure of why he's like I'm wondering why is like they short on supplies all of a sudden dummy because the hospital is getting over flooded with all these so-called cases of corona that's why they running out of supplies you dummy but um, he like yeah I'm questioning whether these healthcare workers are taking them out the back door like yo like this this dude is just disrespectful all over the board and not I'm not saying that the healthcare workers you know ain't slide a couple masks in the pocket you know what I'm saying for when they go to the crib but I mean you talking about tens of thousands of masks like so how you think that made the uh, healthcare workers feel they he, he uh he accusing them of stealing. You accuse me of stealing, <laughs> but that's wild. Like he done said mad stuff. Like uh, he was also talking about how this one medicine done uh, went from trials to ready to get dispersed like immediately. Like and um, you know the agency that controlled the FDA was like uh, you know they had to backtrack that and was like oh that's not necessarily true like. So the president ain't, ain't helping the situation either with all the rhetoric that he, he be spewing over the airs, over the air and whatnot. But that's why there's all this confusion and uncertainty behind this thing. But if people do their research, if they do their independent, do some independent thinking and stop looking at what the news or listen to what the news is saying all the time, they will see that more people die from the flu than the coronavirus but they not on the news talking about everybody that get the flu you know what I'm saying so that's 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 something to think about you know what I mean like why are they doing that and I also seen an article about how they're they're uh, tossing around the idea of digital money digital currency and uh, I think well one of the reasons that I heard is because there may be some type of uh, propaganda, some spin coming down the pike in regards to this coronavirus being spread through money. Like I was in the store the other day, and this cat came in there like he was uh, he was on he was on the cashier, but I'm not wearing no gloves. So he's like, man, you should be wearing gloves. Da, da, da. Like the virus could be passed through the money. And, so it's already done started a little bit like that that whole uh, rhetoric behind the virus being passed through money so what is that going to do that's going to spearhead the movement of getting rid of that that paper dollar so um, i got bitcoin you know what i'm saying i got me some i'm ready um, but yeah it's ill like how they how they um they forward whatever agenda they want to forward because they know the masses uninformed and they don't think independently 
So they just gonna go off of what the news say, and then they gonna spread it themselves, and they ain't even research it. But um, yeah, I mean that's the major question is like, you know, how this virus is gonna be contained. Just, I'm, I'm assuming the same way the flu can be contained, like these, all the stuff they're telling us to do, wash our hands and sanitize, and we're supposed to been doing all that shit. Like, so. Um, you know, another thing is like how the government is going to continue to help. They ain't already signed off on the two trillion dollar stimulus package, and everybody ain't getting no money. Like they see, and that's another thing they said on the news. Like everybody, every American is getting twelve hundred dollars. Every American is not getting twelve hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? Because don't owe no child support. You can forget about that twelve hundred dollars. Like. I don't know if they're going to extend that to people that work under the table, like all the, uh, the waitresses and the, and the uh, barbers like myself, like the, the hairdressers, like everybody is not going to qualify for that $1,200. And that's another thing that they got all over the news that everybody is getting. But don't nobody do no research, don't nobody look into none of that. But everybody is not getting $1,200. Um, so that, and that's another reason all the all the uh, news is flying across all the uncertainty is what got the markets down because don't nobody know how businesses is going to come out of this what their earnings is going to be so whenever there's uncertainty there's going to be a lot of people uninformed people selling their stocks trying to um, hold on to some money or get whatever money they can put together meanwhile um, you know people that are are informed or that know the history of the stock market that there's been times that the stock market dropped lower than it is now but it always came back and then went to higher levels so i mean if you got extra money if you do if you wanted to fortune the ones that still got money coming in you might want to be like, this is not stock advice but you might want to be investing because you know history shows that if you were the ones that's investing during these hard times, you're the one that come out on top when all this shit fly over. So, keep that in mind. Um, another um, concern of these Corona cooties is running around. I got LTP too, lifetime protection. I don't know if y'all remember that. I might be aging myself, but I got LTP. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's another concern? Um... Uh, but I said, this is not the biggest decline. Oh, the job losses. Um, Macy's. One of my people said they ordered some uh, polo or whatever from Macy's like, like a month ago. Damn near a month ago. And they ain't get it yet. Well, that's because Macy's done furloughed, laid off, furloughed 130 employees. And one of the things that they also said is that... Um, this is this is foul. This is why Cal O'Neill, on a couple episodes ago, he was saying that we need to have health insurance. Like we got health insurance, we got insurance on our phone, we got car insurance, but we don't got insurance on our life. Like that's 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 wild. Like I never looked at it like that. But um, they were saying how Macy's was saying how those out of those those 130 employees that's going to be furloughed and laid off that they was going to extend their health care coverage um, until May. So, we got two months, maybe a month. They don't know how long. They, they said up until May, they'll go from there. But May is when people's health insurance is going to cut off. So, this is why Cal was saying that you need to have something going on, a policy outside of your job for times like this. Cause, and that's just Macy's. Everybody's not doing theirs like that. Some people, jobs, their health care shut off as soon as they got laid off. You feel me? So that's dope with Macy's. Um, Gap, they furloughing. Coles, excuse me, Coles furloughing. Coles actually furloughed 85,000. 85,000 jobs. Gone. You feel me? But next topic is uh, 
Um, another thing, another concern that's running around now as far as uh, forget the supplies that Trump's talking about. They're talking about all the, you know, the flood of patients that's coming into the uh, into the hospitals. How, being that it affects the lungs, they need respirators, right? So they running low on respirators. They don't even got enough respirators to work on these people. So, Ford and GE uh, said that they was going to produce 50,000 ventilators in 100 days, and. You know, everything I do is all research and, and, and experience. So I'm researching and it says, you know, Ford and G gonna produce uh, 50,000 ventilators in 100 days. Um, so I looked at the cases. Um, there's 16,000 reported cases in New Jersey, 67,000 cases reported in New York. And this is according to the CDC. And out of all the states in the country, though New Jersey and New York seems to be, uh, seems to have the most cases. So if you got uh, 67,000, 16,000 in another state, that's 70, that's 83,000, that's 83,000 people that need ventilators. What the hell is 50,000 ventilators going to do? And this is just, that's just two states. So 83,000 people need ventilators. What the hell is 50,000 ventilators are going to do? It's just, I don't know, it's, it's, it's bugging me out. Like the dynamic of this thing, like, it got, it got so many layers to it. It's, it's like, where do you begin? It's a lot to unpack with this shit. But like I said, Trump is not making this shit no better. He's saying that people stealing taking masks and shit out the back door, like disrespecting the healthcare workers, like like we ain't here working all these hours, like risking our life for these people. And you wanna sit up here and call us thieves on top of it? Like you out of pocket, out of pocket, like coronavirus. But uh what else? Trump also said, um this is this is the shit. So you gotta, you definitely gotta do an independent thing because you don't know what he gonna say up there. Like you never know what this dude gonna say up there. Um, this guy said that the virus should last through the summer, right? But at the same time, he was like, "Yeah, but I plan on opening up the country for business uh, by Easter." Like, dog. Easter is before the summertime, like, it's just, it's just weird, like, it's just weird, you know, and it's just ironic how before he went in office, like, actually, when he first got in office, I know I'm probably not the only one, but I'm like, yo, dude, fuck around and do some bullshit and have us up shit's creek as a country. Lo and behold, look what happened. Like on his watch, we got the coronavirus shut down the whole country. Like this is the shit that we we kind of predicted. I think everybody kind of predicted. Everybody that wasn't really with Trump movement kind of predicted. Like yo, he gonna do some bullshit and and fuck the country up. Lo and behold, fucking the country up. Like ain't instilling no uh, sense of clarity for the people uh, ain't instilling no confidence you know in order for the people to you know the country to remain open it's like like I said like he he's not the smartest guy in the world I mean he's a good businessman but he's definitely not the smartest dude in the world like for something to have a 0.66 mortality rate which is less than the flu's mortality rate and there's plenty of other stuff that people died uh, way more than the coronavirus, right? But you don't hear none of that shit plastered over over the news on a daily basis. The flu has has never shut the country down, like, and that's every year. Every year people get the flu. Have been getting the flu since forever. You feel me? 
So it's like, why they ain't, it's, it's something behind this shit. And this is why I'm saying that we need to do independent thinking on our own versus, uh, you know, just taking what the media says to us and, and running with it. If you haven't already and you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out with the channel. We're trying to promote black media uh, so we can tell, tell our own narrative, tell our own stories. Because me personally, like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of frustrated um, with other people, other cultures telling our story for us. Like, um, like Fox, for, for example. Like, I, um, I hate Fox News. But... It's, it's platforms like this that allow us to tell our own stories and tell our own and put our put forth our own narrative. But yeah, hit the like and subscribe button, please. But um, this is what's going on. Right? We got a president that that, that lies. You feel me? Uh, and got shit all over the place, man. But this, uh, I was having a, a conversation not uh, maybe a couple days ago. And somebody called this a reset, an economic reset. Um, it gives us giving people a chance to sit back and, and reevaluate, you know, what they're doing with themselves, maybe their career, maybe, um, you know, so they can position themselves for, for, uh, you know, times like this, like. So this doesn't ever happen to them again. So they don't, they won't have to worry about getting laid off. Like, this is a time to um, be in everybody's home together now. Like, people eating dinner dinner again together now. Uh, you know, people getting to know their kids now. Like, because they was always at work, so now you ain't at work. It's like, you know, it's a bright side and it's a bad side. You might be in a, in a crib where you don't really like the motherfucker, so that's why you can't wait to go to work every day. But for the most part, it's a shift. It's a shift in... Um, you know, our, our life our life is not like it was all in a matter of, of a month. Like, life is different right now. Like, And uh, I know a lot of people, because I was just talking about this, I think it was last night. Like, people, when they were saying how, you know, he's going to have a curfew and quarantine and all that, how people was tearing down the stores, like, buying up mass shit. And I guess they thought that the store was going to close down. I didn't go all hand like that. Like, I bought, you know, my regular necessities because, like, I don't have a house full of people. I, I'm dolo with it. So I didn't need, you know, a thousand rolls of toilet paper and all that. Like, um, but I know them people kind of feel a little bit stupid because um, the stores ain't shut down. And the stores restocked. Like y'all bought all that shit. There's more toilet paper back on the shelves now. Like, so y'all got all that damn toilet paper for nothing. Like, spent all that money, and the stores ain't never closed. But um, this is what I'm saying. Like, we gotta start thinking um, independently. Think on your own. Think outside of what the news is 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 putting is putting out there. But um. On a more productive note, like when you when they say this company is going to be helping out the situation and this company is going to be helping out the situation, those are good hints. It's, it's stuff that you might want to invest in. Uh, you got to think outside the box, like try to get ahead of the curve. Like, all right, so what are people going to be buying and needing in these times? Because ev like. Every I ain't gonna say every about seventy percent of the market right now is it's in a bear market, meaning it's below it's it's thirty percent below its high, like its highest price that it that it was a year ago is at least thirty at least thirty percent below that. So over the course of time, people. Like Bill Gates, people that are forward thinking, like even even if you're not as rich as Bill Gates, but people that are in the know and got a couple of dollars, and it doesn't have to be a lot, but people that are forward thinking, look for times like this so they can invest their money because it, history shows that it always comes out of it. Eventually, it might take two years, 
but if you're investing money that you don't necessarily need right now, like it's not money, it's money that's probably just gonna be sitting in your account, not co co well, collecting BS interest in the bank account, you can have it working. You know what I'm saying? You can have it working where it's dope in maybe 12, 24 months from now, it'd be 10% greater minimum of what it, what what it was that you when you put it in there so why not have your money working instead of just sitting especially because money you're not going to be using for the next year or two you know what i'm saying so that's my take on um what's going on as, as a matter of fact right now um i'm not giving you like i said this is not stock advice but as far as what i'm doing based off my 10 years of uh, reading journals and investing experience um, is I put in hours tens of hundreds of hours of reading and research over these past 10 years so um, you know this is actually hands-on perspective but like I said it's not advice but as of right now I'm looking at um, I'm looking at getting some Johnson & Johnson I'm looking at getting some um, Costco. Um, I'm looking at getting some um, Micron. Now, I'm also adding to my other positions that I already that I already had that dropped down. So now I'm buying them for cheaper, like something I could have bought, something I might have bought for ten dollars, or let's say for easy math, something I bought for twenty dollars a share. It's probably like damn near ten dollars a share now, so I can get two at the same price that I bought the one now. So I'm doing that as well. But definitely looking at those uh, those stocks I just mentioned for my next purchases. You know what I'm saying so that's on a productive note. So that's my take on the Corona cooties, coronavirus, coronavirus. Uh, Cardi B with a dumbass. But um, I think that should wrap it up. So, like I said, if you haven't already, hit the like, subscribe button. Um, you can also tap in on Spotify, Google Podcasts, um, Overcast, Radio Public. Uh, we waiting on iTunes. We ain't on iTunes yet. We on pretty much all the other ones. So, until next week or until my next live, it's your boy Don Bucks. See y'all next week or so. Peace.